What's up everyone? How are you doing today? It's Angry Roleplaying. Guys and girls, today I wanna update you on my Rathmas Unholy Army pad build for the Necromancer. You know, Blizzard released a hotfix yesterday and it makes the build stronger and faster and do more damage. And I explain what exactly happened. The six piece bonus each active skeletal mage increases the damage of your minions and army of the dead by 250%. So, this has been hotfixed to 625%. The number of skills is not uh, changed for now, but it was already a hotfix. They are already uh, in the game. Uh, the the actual number here will change when they release an actual patch because it requires a patch But a hotfix is there so the numbers are effective But what it means for the build and for all Rathmore builds in general It basically means you need to summon four mages instead of ten mages to get full bonus of the six piece Rathma set this is it so it makes the speed farming build exceptionally stronger that uses the bones of Rathma and and the push build is also stronger now because basically the you don't need to summon all 10 mages to get the full bonus of uh, the six piece across the rift it will basically translates into more damage this is it i also made a slight change to uh, my uh, unholy army build and i want to talk about the upcoming changes so uh it will be two setups from now on one setup is the exactly the same one, uh, the same one that you see on the Diablo fans guide on our website. It's in completely unchanged. It will be the basic setup to play, and another setup here will use uh, Sight of the Cycle in the cube instead of Relinus Shadow Hook and Bone Armor Dislocation instead of Blood Rush. What it actually makes and how it affects the build itself. Look at this side of the cycle. Your secondary skills deal 300% additional damage while bone armor is active. Here we have our bone armor. What it actually means is it basically takes this 400% damage of the skeletal mage and adds 300 increased damage to it. So it makes 400, 400, 400, and 400. It's 400. Uh, multiplied basically by four so it's it's one thousand and six hundred percent damage that is that image does by default this is the default multiplier here why is it so much stronger than Rulina shadow hook for a couple of reasons take a look my essence is 310 Rulina shadow hooks buffs my essence uh, buffs my damage uh, by a half percent based on my essence so if we multiply this by half percent, I will get a hundred and fifty-five percent increased damage. So Relinas is hundred and fifty-five percent damage. This is three hundred percent damage. So basically, this is double the damage of Relinas Shadow Hook. But when they press the Simulacrum, this doubles my essence, and this doubles the damage on Relinas Shadow Hook. So Relinas Shadow Hook immediately does. 310% damage and this basically stays 300% damage so when I press the simulacrum the damage of Relina Shook even becomes slightly higher than the site of the cycle damage so basically it's the, let's think about it as it's the same amount of damage so this is it so what it means exactly with sight of the cycle you basically do default much less much more damage across the rift so it's basically like with simulacrum up but it effective across the rift but unfortunately the uh, disadvantage of this is that we completely use blood rush and no blood rush is no armor of the potency and unfortunately it's no mobility as well and you know i i really don't like losing mobility so in the end it's up to you to decide what you will choose what you will play Will you play with Relinus Shadow Hook and Blood Rush and get mobility and more armor? And you know, mobility can save you much more time than the raw damage across the rift. Or you prefer the raw damage, more slower gameplay, by, but more damage across the rift. Then you will use the side of the cycle and the bone armor as well, dislocation. And bone armor dislocation can also proc Crispins a little more because we use 
Uh, the enemies here also stun for two seconds, so this is it. And another default uh, change that I made to the build uh, for two setups, it doesn't matter. Uh, I switched from Decrypify Dizzing Curse to Decrypify Borrow Time. I think that it's more essential to help with the simulacrum. You know, 10% chance to be stunned for two seconds doesn't really that life-changing, from my opinion, because we have bone spikes, sudden impact, and basically stuns everything all the time for one second, and we proc our ancient button defenders all the time and the prismans all the time. So I think that the creepify borrowed time will bring much more importance to the build than the dizzy curse. So. Let me summarize once again what are the changes and what it brings to the build itself. Up from now on you will have to choose which one you play and switch between the two depending on what you feel like better for you. You can use Relina Shadow Hook with Blood Rush Potency or you can use Side of the Cycle and the Bone Armor Dislocation. Relinus Shadow Hook and Blood Rush would give you a little uh, around 60% less damage across the rift outside of Simulacrum, but uh, you will have Blood Rush Potency, more armor, more toughness, and exceptional mobility across the rift. With the side of the cycle, you do around 60% more damage outside of Simulacrum, and unfortunately, you lose mobility and you will become more stationary. That's it. So it's up to you to decide guys what you what you will play, will you prefer a little more damage or will you prefer mobility. That's it, thanks for watching and see you soon.